Hello, I'm Gloria Felt. I'm the author of No Excuses, Nine Ways Women Can Change How We Think About Power. Gloria Felt encourages women to quote, don't follow your dream, lead it. Gloria was dubbed the voice of experience by People Magazine. Vanity Fair Magazine named Gloria Felt one of America's top 200 women, legends, leaders, and trailblazers. Joining us now from New York is Gloria Felt. Glamour Magazine honor her as a Woman of the Year. Please join me in welcoming one of the most politically savvy, eloquent, and committed advocates for women of our era, Gloria Felt. When you start out as a 15-year-old pregnant teen in West Texas in the 1950s, that's not exactly a position of power. <laughs> so I did kind of have to learn on the job. Women are now 60% of college graduates. We are 50% of the workplace as of this year. We are 18% of the top leadership and management positions. Women buy 85% of the consumer goods. We are 15% of the boards of directors of the companies that decide what we're going to be sold. What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> Things that Gloria talked about were quite riveting and eye-opening. After a lifetime on the front lines of working to enable women to have a fair shake, to move forward in life, to be able to have an equal place at life's table, I realized some very important things. Number one, the rest of the world is looking at us right now and they think women are it. The rest of the world is looking at women and saying, this is our moment. How do you all feel about that? Do you feel like this is women's moment? Some of you do, some of you don't. Okay, all right, that's a, that's a kind of a good test. We as women don't always recognize that this is, in fact, our moment. I knew that what I wanted to do was to talk about where we'd come from, but more importantly, to give women some very specific, concrete ways, and I'm, I call them power tools, to be able to lead unlimited lives. You know, not only is Gloria just an amazing, inspiring speaker, but Gloria truly understands what women need today when it comes to power. Defining our own terms before somebody else defines us is the most important thing that we can do to have the power to accomplish what we want to accomplish. It's not about a lack of ambition. Women have lots of ambition for all sorts of things, but there is still a lesser amount of intention, of, of being born knowing that the world is your oyster. I found as I began to face the fact that it was no longer external barriers that were keeping women from the highest halls of power. It was actually that the doors had been open, but we weren't walking through them. Gloria's presentation was perfect because it was a reminder to all of us that no matter how far we've come, we still can go so much farther. Open our minds to envision a future where women can lead and live unlimited lives. Well, the article had a picture and a story of a man who was in his tiny little fishing boat and the tsunami was coming at him full force. And instead of trying to go away from it, to move away from it, to, to save himself by getting away. Instead, he took his little boat and he rowed it right directly into the wave. And it is that, that principle that I wanna talk with you about today. That principle that we can take the energy that controversy gives us and we can use it to lead, to lead to the change we want to make in the world. Thank you. Thank you.